three different programs, WSJTX, Grid Tracker, and HRD Logbook. I'm going to show you in this video how to set the settings on all of them so that they talk together and work together. Yeah! Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for uh, dropping by my little shack on the corner for a ham shack chat. This time, uh, we're going to look at these three programs, WSJTX, Grid Tracker, and HRD Logbook. I'm going to go into the settings on a couple of them and we'll show you how, those, how to configure those settings so that these three programs work uh, together. So uh, in the end, I'll show that I'm not just showing off, that I'm really doing it. I'm going to make a contact on WSJTX we will watch it in real time over on Grid Tracker, and uh, when I when that uh, log pop up comes up, uh, and I punch the cat log it button, you'll see it populate down in HRD logbook. Let's get to it. First, we're going to go and take a look at Grid Tracker, and this is Grid Tracker. Uh, you can see the grids that I've confirmed. Uh, they are all the yellow squares. Uh, and you can come, to, come down here. There's a legend in the bottom here. So I've QSOed all of these grids. Uh, you can see that we are coming up on the gray line, which means Europe is starting to open up. We are on the 40 meter band right now, and you can see that is up here and uh, going through receive and decodes and all that. So you can see that all happening. Uh, you can come right here and see who I've worked in different grids. So some some I've worked a lot, some one or two. There's there's one I worked a whole lot. Uh, but I told you I was going to show you the settings. Now on here, there really are no settings. But he promised. But there you do have to make a note. Uh, come over here. Here's the settings button. You click that. And it's on the general tab, you see that WSJTX is up and it's uh, the location is right here, 127.001.2237. Now we're going to close that. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm just starting to learn about grid tracking. So I've been playing around and once I figured out how, how these settings all worked, uh, then uh, that's that's why I came up here. This is a free program. Will it cost me anything? No. And I will put the link to the program down in the uh, video description for you. Now, uh, let, let's move over and take a look at uh, WSJTX. This is WSJTX uh, and uh, currently working uh, 40 meter uh, FT8. Uh, uh, WSJTX is a free, 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 free program. And I'll put the link uh, that where you can get it down in the video description. And uh, a lot of people are really enjoying it. If you haven't come on board yet, uh, it is a fantastic program. There's some folks who don't like it very much. By a pompous radio ham. But it provides the minimum necessary. It was designed that way designed to provide the minimum necessary uh, exchange of information to justify a real uh, QSO. So uh, we're going to open up our settings and I'm going to go to the general tab to begin with. Uh, note that I have the show DXCC grid and work before status clicked. That color codes these uh, these uh, everything in your band activity. Uh, notice uh, I got a pink whales and a pink azlers. Uh, that indicates that I have not uh, worked those for a DXCC credit yet. So I, I've already got my DXCC but I'm trying to build up on it. So you know if I was not videoing this uh, I probably would be on there uh, cranking away. That light pink one, Venezuela, indicates I've not worked Venezuela on this band. Uh, so let's go over here to reporting. Uh, 
you want to get down here in the UDP server server area and uh, the UDP server is 127.0.0.1 with the port number of 2237 and that's the information that we got from the uh, grid tracker. Uh, you want to ch go over here and accept UDP request. Uh, the secondary UDP server, uh, also 127.0.0.1 and 2333, which is a standard for your HRD logbook. So, speaking of the HRD logbook, let's go take a look over there. We are on the HRD logbook. I'm just going to take this away. Uh, and uh, this is a paid program. $100 billion. <laughs> Uh, so uh, let's let's just go over here so I can give you the latest information. If you do a digital download, which is what I expect you would do, uh, it's a uh, hundred bucks for a year. Now to renew it every year, it's another fifty bucks. Uh, and you know, for me, uh, fifty bucks yeah, that's. <laughs> R roughly uh, 50 bucks is a uh, buck a week <laughs> for as much as I use it uh, it's 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 certainly worth it uh, if you need a if you want it with a CD or with a USB uh, card you you can do that uh, so uh, that's uh, that that's what you got that's the current cost uh, if you want keep a lookout um, because uh, they are constantly having sales. They usually uh, come right around holidays and stuff like that. And uh, so there, uh, there you go back to uh, HRD logbook. By the way, HRD does not need to be running to bring up the logbook. Uh, it, it, it can run as a standalone. You will get an error message saying, hey, you're not connected to the, the radio. Uh, but you don't need to be connected to the radio just to keep track of your logbook. Uh, so we're going to come up here to tools, come down here to configure, and we're going to configure QSO forwarding. And uh, as you'll see, uh, if you set it up just like this, you'll be just fine. Fill in missing fields on receive, look up missing fields on receive, uh, and that's basically if you're doing this live, but here's the big one. Receive QSO notifications using DDP from other applications, WSJTX, and your receive port, 2333. Uh, set up your target da database. So uh, this is, uh, I use my logbook. Uh, but some people like to split up, uh, have different logbooks for different modes. Uh, I just like putting everything in one. Uh, and uh, your uh, fields, uh, station fields should be merged. So, we'll get out of that. And uh, now we're going to go back and watch it all work together. And here's everything working together. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. But all of the stuff you see happening over there on Grid Tracker is driven by your band activity. So uh, if I turn this off, uh, you'll see that I have quite a bit of band activity out of just the. Uh, so all, all of that information you saw scroll by is what's driving those lines. Um, now, I like to leave it on CQ only, and because uh, that way. Dog. If I start, if I do a search and pounce, uh, I'm just going to see stations calling CQ. Uh, I leave my uh, hold uh, TX frequency off, so that way you can see I'm parked way over here, out out in a quiet area, so I don't get a lot of noise up in here. But when I select a station, uh, and let me select this one. N1AOA. So if you look over here, well, uh, let me describe what's going on over here. Uh, you got a bunch of stuff yeah, you can actually do. Uh, I, I, you can turn on, turn off your uh, 
a gray line you can sh show where the moon is and here I go again you see that little red line right there is me calling uh, that N1 AOA and he's in uh, area FM 29 I'm in area EM 89 so uh, that's uh, that that's my grid uh, as I mentioned before uh, and uh, we'll see here in a second if he answers me yes he's answered me I've got a log it or an alert and uh, he's giving me a plus four and I returned a plus seven so we'll uh, that's uh, I'm transmitting now and now I'm back on receive so now I'm going to receive his and if I get a 73 from him uh, then we can make sure that the logbook works as well so that should be momentarily and nope no, there it is 73 okay so n one one eight. I'm gonna click OK keep your eye down here so three two one and there he is n1 AOA and uh, that's how it works so I was able to make a call over here see my stuff happening over here and log it automatically to my logbook and that's it as promised I told you that I would show you uh, the settings necessary to exchange information between uh, grid tracker WSJT and logbook uh, now I uh, the grid tracker is new to me it's uh, I haven't used it a lot I don't understand any of this uh, but uh, I was challenged uh, by uh, someone on another uh, a video in their comments and please comment you would be the smartest idiot in the whole world uh, to do something about grid tracker so I took it under advisement went and downloaded it and was really surprised at how powerful a little uh, program it is uh, so uh, in the fairly near future uh, after I get a few more dozen QSOs <laughs> under my belt and uh, get to explore it a little bit better I will uh, be doing a, a standalone video just about grid tracker and uh, some of the neat things uh, I've just covered uh, the very very top top layer uh, peeled that top layer of the onion if you will uh, well <sighs> I just put out another video that you might want to watch if, if you haven't seen it already. It's about uh, tips and tricks for uh, WSJT and I'm going to post it like right up there and uh, so take a look at it. Uh, as always, I'm Tom nd 3 n at your service. Uh, please like, please share, please comment and uh, seven threes. I'm out.